Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of XCOM The Shift War. It is getting hairy here now. We came across a medium UFO that was after our satellites and I had to send out all my available um, interceptors and I lost two. They shot down two of my interceptors. Yeah, the, the, the aliens are ramping up the game, their game. Uh, it's They are talking business now. So, I brought them down in the end, eventually. And now we have a, well, a medium destroyer on the floor, on the ground, that we have to uh, go to. And smoke them pesky aliens out. So I made my team last in the last episode. We bring one engineer, a scout and a sniper team, and of course, five ships. So launch the mission, let's see how that goes. Are we going to see new aliens? I mean... We haven't seen a lot of uh, the um, Touching down. hive queens of the chrysalids, but I don't think this will be a chrysalid mission. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Mm-hmm. The alien craft went down in flames. We've pinpointed its final resting place in a rural area with no significant civilian population. We need to secure that craft and eliminate any survivors. All right, we shall do so, Bradford. I'll do my best to make this, uh, uh, to finish this in 30 minutes, but I have my doubts. I have my doubts. This is a medium UFO after all. Big so, uh, maximum Motion animation speed. Team is your Let me the have a look where that UFO might to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Okay, this is the map edge, obviously. Where are we? Okay, there is another map edge. I'm at a loss where I am, so let's just move ahead, see what happens. What is going on? What? Three mutant elites and two mechtoids? Is, is this correct? Is that what I'm seeing? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so I said I, I want to make this... Uh, half an hour video but I think it's going to be a 10 minutes video because that's how long it takes for them to destroy us look at this 9% only okay they have a high cover and they bring um, an innate defense 20% good lord okay the best idea is to just retreat right to let them come to us but I think we are seeing them as well are we no but our sniper is okay Sniper sees. Hey, a sniper has pretty high chance of hitting this elite over there. Let's have a look. What does? What can they do? Oh, I don't have an um, autopsy yet. Uh, uh, yeah, no, sorry, I cannot use the sniper here. Um, they are out in the open. We are getting close to being spotted. So my um, my scout can shoot Moving twice, out. right? At 34 only, 84. Okay, and this is too far away. So we will shoot twice at the mechtoid over there. Can we get a holo targeting up on this one? No one of the ships is seeing this. Okay, and I don't want to let you stay there, A2. This is just suicide. This is just suicide. So before we retreat A2, we will just take the 84% chance of hitting. There you go, we hit him once. And now holo targeting is applied. We get a 94% chance for our second shot. Nice! Alright, so we did hit twice. So, but that Mechtoid is unimpressed, right? Look at this. They have still not, uh, 14 health left. 14. Oh my goodness. If this is how the uh, the missions will be like from now on. We are doomed. Okay, my sniper might actually kill this guy with a crit. I think. Is it possible to do a 14, 14 crit with a pulse rifle? Eight damage? I don't think so. It's like more like fifty percent more damage, right? And then there is also damage reduction. 
I don't think we can bring them down with with a with a precision shot here. Let me have a look. How am I going to position myself then? Of course, everyone wants a uh, high target, uh, high cover, right? Although you have low profile, you could just move over here, for example. Steady your weapon. And then the shifts take... Stay around here. Or you could just stay behind... Oh yeah, of course, we can move a ship uh, in front of you. That's a thing we could do. Yeah, sure. And then the engineer. Where does the engineer go? Before they throw the smoke. They could go over here and then throw smoke so that they are all engulfed. In. All right, I f it. Let's do it. Let's shoot at that mectoid. Let's crit him. Oh, that actually kills it. Nice. And it will hurt the uh, surrounding um, bad guys as well with that explosion, right? No, it didn't. Ah, mectoid destroyed. Cool. So that also means minus one Overwatch, right? That's cool. So, Louise, move over here. And give us... Or do we actually need the smoke? I don't know. Yeah, we need the smoke. They will come after us, or will they? Hmm, let me have a look. If they move over here, they are going to see spot us, right? I think so. If I ever needed a smoke, it is here. The real problem is that I... Uh, that I'm going to get shot at by that Overwatch over there. But I think I have to take that damage. So who is going to give cover to my sniper? I think Laser Ross. Laser Ross should do that. Ross, move over here. Cover for the sniper. So how far can A2 actually move back? Oh, there it comes. Does it count as, uh, as, as dashing? Oh, they miss! Yay! Excellent. Alright, so... A2 is over here and sees somebody. What? Really? And I want to move over here with A3, hopefully seeing somebody as well. No? Okay. Oh, this one. Okay, it's fine. Alright, let's throw the smoke. Smoke's so important here. I don't even know why I was... ...considering not throwing it. It's so important. So, throw it. What's your problem? Smoke. Okay, there's the smoke. Smoke's in the air! Smoke's in the air! Cool. And everyone else goes on Overwatch. No! Continue the mission, please. Okay! Here comes our first Overwatch victim. 57%, that's a great chance of hitting. Ah, we miss. Next time. Okay, more overwatch. They activate one after the other, that's great. Yay! 11 damage on an elite mute. Mutant elite. Not mute. He's not mute, he's muton. Mutan. Yes! Down it goes. Minus one mutant elite in the world. Perfect. What's going on now? Okay. They are shooting. No, they are throwing a grenade. Okay, let's see how good our damage reduction is good against that. Oh, cool! They were just aiming at A2, and A2, like a boss, reduces every single point of damage. Oh wait, are they shooting at us? No, they are going on Overwatch, that is perfect for our snipers. I hope both snipers see the guy. Nope! Although, uh, Zadra can move, right? Zadra can move. Because of hit and run, they can uh, sh still shoot twice. So, Sniper gets a 100%, but unfortunately we don't have the uh, position shot ready. 
So we are only having a critical chance of 52%, which is still good in my book. Which is still good in my book. Okay, let's move first with... Um, I'm looking for a, 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 a cover to move to with my uh, scouts. Okay, everybody sees the mechtoid from here. All right, so maybe it's okay to move over here. Moving out. There comes the Overwatch. We have lightning reflexes. That was. Intentional to I'm under fire. trigger that with our scout. And do we see the Mechtoid and can we shoot them? Is the question. Yeah, we do. Hmm, our ships could actually shoot. Okay, photo targeting, but that's actually not, not necessary. Although, I think I want to do this because. Uh, giving some, uh, giving our humans some chance to actually kill the guy. Okay, heat ammo guy shot at the mechtoid. That was the best idea ever. Right. So now, laser Ross also shoots at the mechtoid. There you go. Do some extra damage, please. There you go. And that should be enough for our scout sniper team. So let's do it. Hit and run triggered. Maybe our sniper doesn't even need to shoot at that guy. We will see. Only three damage left. That's it. Well done, scout. And you need to reload next time. Bam! Out of round. Yep. So, sniper. You see this guy and this guy. 81% chance. Let's get some holo targeting up here first, shall we? So 52% for you and 52% for you. It doesn't really matter. So you shoot first. Give some holo targeting if you don't hit, but you hit. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now the sniper has a 91% chance of hitting the guy. I like that, but first Second shit, Shiv shoots at him, at it. 15 health, and I reduce by 7. That should be enough for our sniper to finish the guy, right? Let's see, I do 8 damage, but I also have... No, 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 I don't want to have information about this guy. I want to have information about my guy. I also have like ranger or something. Platform stability. Shots taken before. Plus 10 aim. Okay. Sharpshooter. Here you go. Plus 10 aim. No. No. Okay. Nothing that improves damage. Only critical chance. Okay. I understand. I understand. That's still a 62% critical chance. And even if I hit. Uh, if I. Mm, if I hit, that might survive with one health. Because of you of uh, you know damage reduction. Hmm. Let me think about that for a sec. Our engineer doesn't see anything. No. I was thinking maybe uh, suppressing the Overwatch guy, but maybe not. Let's shoot at them again. Although it does ten damage if I hit. No, I will take the shot here with my with my. Uh, Sniper. Let's do it. Yes, it's enough. Nice. Take care of. Yes. Taken care of. Alrighty. And A2. Suppress the guy? No, it just goes on Overwatch. We are still in this cloud. In the smoke cloud. Although it looks like it will go away. But it won't. So we will still enjoy. Back. the advantages of the smoke clouds in this turn during their movement. Okay, they're running away, but they are still moving into overwatch, it seems. So A2, come on and hit for 50, 51%. Ah, 
Alrighty, alrighty. I, th I think they will be coming back. I don't care about melt. I have to care about my health. So instead of moving, I will just reload on everything and hope for him to come back. Ready to rock. That's what I do. He will get a good first shot at us, I guess. It's killing time. When he comes back. But the reloading was necessary. Hmm. Maybe he's a coward. A2, why don't you move and check? No contact so far. So why don't we move ahead? Let's see what's going on. I'm so proud of myself! That, that looks so, so dangerous. And we handled these enemies admirably. Alright, let's go after that mutant. Let's find him. Let's find him and kill him. Why don't we... Why do I only have... Oh, so that's how I wanted it. Okay, Got move it. over here. Sniper. And steady your weapon. Yes. Scout moves over Moving there. To position. Also steadies the weapon. Engineer, you. I'm on the move. Stay close. Let's see what happens. Everyone, Overwatch. Yeah, they're over there. That's what that mutant, that? right? That we are after. I hope. Seems stuff is happening over there. If you see a lot of melt in one uh, location, this might be a hint that there is also the UFO in this direction. Alright, move over here with A2. Front of the ramp. Okay, no new contacts. A3 follows. So does B1. A4, our heat guy. And A5, Laser Ross. Sticks around as well. Snipers and scouts make sure that they On the move. are where they need to be. Heading out. Heading out, says Murphy. You steady your weapon. And you steady your weapon as well. And the engineer stays close as On well. The move. move up. Overwatch. So mutant. Where are ya? Where did you go? So A2 should should move first. So A2 move up here, that's a good position. Hmm. Where did that guy run? Run to. His pants had to be very full, I have to say. If he runs that far away from us. I think uh, if the if the aliens decide to run away during a UFO mission, they decide to run all the way to the um to the UFO maybe. Might be a thing. Okay, so I will position my snipers up there. Snipers slash scouts. Okay, no. No steadying weapon for my sniper, but for I'm my scout. The because the scout has high mobility. Of course they do. Well, hit and run. And the engineers needs to stay close as well. Target so confirmed. move over there. On our way. Nice. And that's the turn, everyone. Overwatch. Takes roughly two minutes for one of my turns. Shh. I think I heard something. Yeah. So 
nothing's happening. All right, all right, all right. A2. Please move forward. Like over here. Still no content. Wow, that mutant. That mutant. Okay, we have melt up here. There's a ramp. I think you can make it next turn. I don't know. Let's move up here with B1. Let's break with the form, with formation. Let's have a look. Could maybe get it next turn if we move a little bit closer. Okay, I'm greedy. I'm greedy. There you go, no contact. I knew it. I knew it. These guys are so scared of us. So, A2, try to stay close. Ah, there it is. Good to know. Good to know. Can we make it so that we see them? So that our sniper can shoot? That would be awesome. There you go. You are not going anywhere. Ah, oh, it's too far away. Oh, there's the UFO as well. Oh, it's our sni- uh, our... Out. Our sniper definitely can shoot, but he does so after holo targeting has been applied. Let's try to do that. Mm, I don't think anybody can apply holo targeting, save for the scout actually. So scout, move over position. there. I hope you see them. Yes, 64%. It's good enough. Do it. Ah, oh, we missed. The but hit and run, guys. Hit and run. So holo targeting is applied. So I can shoot again. Three and four chance. And yes, a crit in the face. That actually makes it possible that I might actually have a chance of killing them with the sniper. I want a 100% critical chance. And there you go. Perfect. Perfect execution here. Nice. So our... Shivs have the uh, job of covering our humans. Hmm. Doesn't work though. It's too far away. Alright, then you will cover the sniper at least. And you will move up here. Alright! What? We see somebody? Oh, there are more mutants over there. But we didn't trigger them, so our, our uh, scout over there is safe for now. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, that's my turn. So, now they are triggered. My goodness, look at that. So many mutant elites. Oh! Close combat specialist is kicking in. Yay! Excellent. That's a berserker, so he will move after that again because we hit them. <laughs> oh god, so many shots. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, mutant. Is that a song, actually? My only concern is that I don't have enough ammunition for this. What? How could you miss that shot? <laughs> it's impossible. Possible, I say. Oh, do they get cover now? Well, doesn't matter. We, ki we kicked him. Kicked its ass. Is this my turn now? Great. I love ships. I love them. Okay, let's have a look. We still have ammunition enough on... On all ships. It seems. Later Ross actually has a shot as well. So, four mutants that we see. We killed two. There are still two berserkers around. That shouldn't be a problem because of close combat specialist. The real problems are the mutant elites that we see. Let me check them real quick. Ah, uh, okay. But it's elite, right? Yeah, mutant elite and... 
This one is a Berserker, yeah. Another Berserker, and this one is another Elite, right? Yeah. So! Does it pay to go after this guy? I don't think so. What I think is a good idea is to move over here with my shifts, flank this elite, They could have had a uh, close combat specialist, but they didn't. 90%, that's a good enough chance. Wow! What a crit, guys. What a crit. So I'm I'm thinking positioning my guys over here because uh, my engineer might actually have a chance to throw smoke over there. So that's what I'm thinking here. That's the thought process. So how do I get five, uh, four damage in? With my... But then we have that pesky thing <laughs> next to us. And we are pretty close. That's Headed it, let's that still location. do it. There you go. What? But you have to tell me how this is calculated. Minus 25% because of range? That's a little harsh. Don't you think? Well, I don't want to shoot at them with just 39% chance, that's no fun. But the pistol only does 2 damage. But I have a crit, a crit chance of 80%. Okay, I think that is actually a better chance. Also, hit and run, right? So, yeah, I crit 4-3. And because of hit and run, I can do it again. There you go, killed with a normal Dead ballistic pistol. Run. Nice. All right, so, how, how do we deal with these berserkers? Well, we could, with our sniper, shoot at this berserker. Then they would move towards us, move into clo uh, into close combat specialist. Yeah, that's a thing. I think I want to do this. Do it. Oh, we might still miss, but we didn't. Okay, cool. Move towards us, come on. Did we panic? No. We panicked! What the hell? How unfortunate. Another close combat specialist and that is shall be it for this berserker. Nice. And the good thing is we can still move with these ships. That was uh, the plan all along. All along. Okay, we move in here with this ship and reload instead of shooting because we will need all our ammunition with this guy we also move in and this time we can actually afford to shoot 85 that's a good enough chance nice and I think they will move towards us and we will end them already uh oh yes Nice! So, the only thing uh, left to do is uh, move over here and Moving give out. us smoke. Louise. Oh, they can see us? It's a little bit unfortunate, I feel. I think I want a shift come in and suppress the guy, otherwise my engineers, although they have high cover, is a little bit in danger. Do we have still a uh, shiv ready that can do that? Yes, we do. So 
move in here, B1, and suppress the mutant elite. There you go. So I fear uh, A5, later Ross has to stay, otherwise... Wait, my sniper has still moved? Oh no, they are panicked, alright. So what's it doing? Shooting the suppressor and they miss. Nice. Yeah, you panic, it's fine. Actually, did we touch uh, the melt? No, the melt went down. Alright. Winning this mission is way more important than getting melt here, so don't you worry about it. Look, I can uh, flank the guy, haha. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that in the next episode, guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you there. Bye!